Hey, what's up you guys? It's Judy here with My Life as Geek Eye. On this channel, I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice with the aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you join the Geek Eye family. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about my trash. Today I'm going to be taking you with me on a little bit of a crazy ride because we're going to be digging into the rubbish in my past. Yeah, there's a lot to share. There's a lot to share. Like, I mean, there is a lot of rubbish here. I probably could have organized this a whole lot better, but this is the way they fell on my bed and we're just going to be going through them and I'm going to be sharing with you my product empties, my rubbish. I have been hoarding this rubbish for months now and I can finally film this video because I think I have enough to share and I can finally throw all this rubbish away. Okay, so let's just get into this video. I'm gonna be talking about what I liked, what I didn't like, what I repurchased and all of that jazz. I mean, you know how these videos go. So, the first thing. I'm just gonna dig right in, grab whatever's come to my hands first. This is makeup wipes. These are just the ones that I use because they're cheap from my local Aldi. These ones are the Sensitive Lacura Essentials face wipes. I go through dozens of these every day. They're probably not the best makeup wipe there is out there, but I mean, they're wipes to remove makeup. How picky can you be? I just use a bit of coconut oil on these to remove my makeup and that works perfectly fine for me. I don't need any high-end makeup wipes. A few left in here, but I forgot to close the plastic flap on this one so they kind of dried out, so. That one's going in the bin. I only have one in this bag. I kind of threw all the others out because this one I felt was like a little bit of a representative of all the others that I threw out. Next one is the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Facial Oil. This one, you guys, is a lifesaver. This one is the best to apply overnight when your face is feeling intensively dry. You need a little bit of that extra nourishment and love and why is my light so freaking bright? There we go. I don't look so washed out now. Sorry about that. So I would totally repurchase this Drunk Elephant Virgin Marilla Luxury Facial Facial Oil. Facial Oil. Facial oil. <laughs> it is quite pricey. I think this one was like, I don't remember how much it was, but it was extremely pricey from what I remember. I can sort of do without it for now. Like, yeah, I will repurchase it, but I'm probably just gonna hold off repurchasing it until I feel like my skin is absolutely desperate for it because this one is a very, very pricey product. This one is the Jericho Cosmetics Moisturizing Day Cream. If you watched any of my previous Jericho Cosmetics videos, I do this because Jericho has recently rebranded into Kedma Cosmetics. This one is probably the only Jericho product that didn't work for me, but I kind of feel like now the reason why this particular Jericho product broke me out because I feel like this one was actually counterfeit. The reason why Jericho Cosmetics rebranded and repackaged into Kedma Cosmetics is because people were starting to manufacture their products and rip them off and sell them as Jericho Cosmetics. And people would complain and say, this isn't what I bought last time. Now thinking in hindsight, probably the reason why this broke me out is because this is fake. I purchased this one off of Amazon and you guys, there is nothing that angers me more than ripoffs being sold as authentic. That's just wrong. Obviously, I will not be repurchasing this again. If I want to repurchase any Kedma Cosmetics products, I will be doing it straight off their website or from their retailers that come to my local shopping center periodically throughout the year. I will not repurchase this particular product I'll repurchase the real stuff. <laughs> Thank you very much. Next off, we have the Halo Beauty Hair, Skin and Nails Booster. I've gone through two of these so far. I am towards the end of my third bottle as well. I also gave the Hair, Skin and Nails Booster a bit of a break as well and tried out the new one in Tati's line, the Kiwi Seed Booster. And while I really did enjoy this, I feel like the results that I got from the HSN was a lot more visible on my skin and my nails and my hair. So I have discontinued using the Kiwi Seed Booster and I'm gonna continue using the HSN simply because I feel like this one works a whole lot better for me. There's nothing wrong with this. This one just has better results that I'm looking for. This one is Jericho Cosmetics Hand and Body Lotion. This particular lotion has actually been discontinued and they're making it in a different form now, but it's not actually hand and body lotion and it smells different, which kind of makes me sad because this one 
smells absolutely amazing. It just smells like summer and Queensland and just holidays and really good, but they're not making these anymore. I've got two of them. I actually had three. I don't know where the third one was. I think I actually threw the third one out, but I'm so sad that these aren't being made anymore. They were so good. Speaking of discontinueds, I finally went through another one of my Bath & Body Works White Cherry Blossom and I know this one's been discontinued for years but when I found out it had been discontinued, I went onto eBay and went on a rampage and bought every single one of these that I could find. I actually probably have another four left in my little stash away of these ones. This one is my ultimate favorite all-time fragrance and I'm going to be so sad when I finally used up those four white cherry blossom eau de Tolles as well. I'm so sad. I'm like Bath & Body Works, if you're watching this, please bring this fragrance back because I love it so much. I would repurchase if I could, but I can't, so I won't. Another one that's been discontinued is the Maybelline New York Master Graphic Eyeliner. It feels like no one discovered this eyeliner, but I use this eyeliner for everything. If you watch my Halloween makeup series, anytime I needed black eyeliner, I would use this one. This one takes a long, long time to dry out, and I use this every single day on my eyes for work. It's what I'm wearing today. This thing is so good. The reason why I have this, even though it's been discontinued, is because I found a listing of these on Amazon. Like, I don't know if that's counterfeit too but the ones that I bought off that one listing worked really well for me like the original so I'm saying that it's probably just old stock that Amazon sellers are getting, trying to get rid of. So I have a few of these on backup and then when those are gone, I'm gonna have to find a new favorite eyeliner because Maybelline, why? Please, please bring these Master Graphic eyeliners back because they are simply the freaking best. The tip of them makes it so, so easy to, that's blurry, you can't see that. Anyway, you get the picture. The tip of these makes it so, so, so easy to apply eyeliner and do a sharp wing tip as well. And I can do my eyeliner in like two minutes flat when I'm rushing to get out the door to work. That's how easy it is to do this. And you know the number one rule of doing eyeliner is don't do eyeliner when you're in a hurry. But I do it every morning with this one. It's that easy to use. Okay, I'm getting real passionate about this. I'm just gonna move on. <laughs> The next one is this candle. It's completely burnt out. As you can see, it's like black at the top because it burns so far down the bottom that it started smoking. That's how much I love this one. This one is the New Moon Scents candle. It's one of those artisan sort of candles that come to a moonlight market that our town does once a month during the warmer months. I'm actually really happy that this one took a while to get through because the other one that I purchased burned through real quick like in a week. And this one we were burning probably for like three weeks. So I don't know if they changed their ingredients in the actual candle itself, but this one took longer to burn through, which I really like because candles aren't cheap, man. And you know, I don't want to spend $20 a week just to burn a candle. So yeah, I will definitely repurchase this next time I go to the Moonlight Market and hopefully those ones don't burn out so quickly as well. This one is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation. This one's my Holy Grail foundation. It's what I'm wearing on my skin today. When I want to wear a foundation and know that it's gonna last all day and not fail me or do me dirty, I go with the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation. This one just, I've been wearing this one for years actually. I'm already halfway through another one. Where is it? I can't find it. Oh yeah, here it is. I'm actually already halfway through this one and I've already repurchased another one with the Priceline half price sale. So yeah, look out for that Priceline haul because I've got a few things coming in that one that are pretty good. That I'm really excited about. This one is a Chloe Rollerball perfume. I probably wouldn't repurchase this because I feel like it dried out really, really quickly. It kind of looks pretty cloudy and gross inside. It's probably because I apply makeup on my neck as well and then when I go rollerball on my neck, the makeup goes inside the rollerball. As you can see, it looks kind of manky and gross. Because of that, I probably won't repurchase a rollerball. I do have the same perfume in a bottle and I will use that one instead of keeping a rollerball in my bag. I don't know, I would probably rather purchase like a small travel size perfume rather than use a rollerball. But there's a tiny little bit left in here and it smells so good, I'll just, yeah. Maybelline Age Rewind. This one isn't quite finished, but I had an empty, oh here it is. There's an empty of Maybelline Age Rewind. This one's my Holy Grail concealer. It never does me dirty, it never cakes, creases. Well, it probably cakes and creases if I don't apply it properly, but applied properly, then this one is so good. So freaking good. I use this one as my eyeshadow base 
prime slash primer as well. Okay, this one is the Ofra Cosmetics Vitamin C Cream. I actually really love this. I received this when I did my last Ofra Cosmetics order and it was like spend a certain amount and you get a little goodie bag with samples in it and this was one of the samples. I actually really, really love the way that this applied on my skin and the way that my skin looked and felt and smelled afterwards. So I would definitely repurchase this Ofra Cosmetics Vitamin C Cream. I just haven't really had to do that because there are the things that I'm trying to use up right now and just use up before they get old, if that makes any sense. So next time I do an Ofra Cosmetics haul, I'll probably purchase the full size one of this, but it's not something I'm desperate to get my hands on. BYS Contra Trio Palette. I haven't really gone into the middle bit because that one is kind of gross and I don't like to use that under my eyes. That particular powder makes under my eyes look a little bit cakey, but the bronzer and the contour, can you tell that I, I like it? I've got that empty, I'm already hitting pan on the next one that I've got going here. It's actually really, really affordable. And for BYS to be such an affordable brand and have a product that blends so smoothly on my skin, it might not be the same for everybody, but this is what I'm wearing on my skin today. It applies so smoothly and beautifully and it doesn't get patchy on me. As long as my base underneath is smooth and applied properly, then this applies really beautifully on top as well. This one is another Jericho Cosmetics product. This one is Jericho Premium product and this one is their pomegranate facial peel. I have actually already repurchased a new one of this one. This one is just so good. I have used this one in my how to exfoliate your face video. I will leave that video linked up here or in the description box down below. So if you want to see how this particular peel works in action, it is so good. It smells amazing. It's pretty expensive, but if you want to invest in skincare, then definitely check out the Jericho Cosmetics Pomegranate Facial Peel. This one is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. I've heard Kathleen Lights talk about this a lot on her channel, but this one works really really well I actually really love this the spray on this is beautiful it's just it's just kind of a little bit there's a tiny little bit left in the bottom but the reason why I didn't use it because it's so low is starting to get a little spluttery splattery sputtery I don't know you know what I'm trying to say yeah see like that it's just kind of spat on my face right then but this smells amazing I would definitely repurchase this if it didn't cost like $21. I would definitely repurchase this. It's just I have some other things that I'm trying to get through at the moment. I have some Scandinavia setting sprays that I'm trying to get through before they go off. So yeah, I would repurchase. Just not right now. Better than sex mascara. When you first initially use it, it's great and it's fine. But when it's you're getting towards the end of it, it dries up kind of quickly. Like this is the kind of applicator that I gravitate towards, which is why I'm really loving my L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic mascara at the moment like the applicator is kind of the same and the formula is quite similar actually this one's just a tad a little bit more wet than the Too Faced Better Than Sex is and this one works just as well it's half the price so I'm gonna stick with my L'Oreal Lash Paradise mascara and skip over repurchasing the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara simply because I found a cheaper option and it's just as good. The L'Occitane Immortal Reset Serum, I will definitely repurchase this. I got this one in my Bella box a couple months ago. I love this one. This one is so freaking good on the skin. It really works overnight. You know how sometimes you use a skincare product and you think, oh, I'm gonna have to use it a few times before I know if this is gonna work for me. This one did wonders for my skin overnight. My skin woke up feeling refreshed and revitalized, plump, bright and smooth as well. So I'm definitely gonna purchase the full size of this one. It's just a 30 mil of this is $90. So I'm kind of holding off purchasing that because it's a lot of money, but it's so good. Oh my God, it's so good. I have also gone through a whole bunch of Rimmel lip liners. Literally, I have used all of these. These Rimmel lip liners are so creamy and what I love about them is that they're like wind up ones. They're not ones that you have to sharpen and so they're actually really good to take on the go with me. These are the lip liners that I wear underneath my lipstick for work every single day. They're so creamy and just easy to use and they last all day. These ones actually make my lipstick last a whole lot longer. My favorite combination actually is the Ofra Cosmetics Long Lasting Liquid Lipsticks on top of like these lip liners. If I want a bit of a dark lip for the day, I use the darker lip liner. If I want just like a true red, I'll just use the red. And then this one when I just, you know, yeah. That brings me to my next empty. This one is one of three 
that I have gone through. This one is the Ofra Cosmetics Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Atlantic City. I have gone through so many of these guys. I use this red lipstick to work nearly every single day of my life except for when I'm feeling a little bit minimal. But this one, oh my gosh repurchase will definitely repurchase over and over and over and over again so overall if you're watching this video feel free to like send me some i get people asking me what lipstick i'm wearing every single time and not even just this shade but every time i'm wearing an Oprah cosmetics long lasting liquid lipstick at work people are like what lipstick are you wearing like it always looks so perfect i say go check out Oprah cosmetics lipsticks online and people have come back and be like oh i purchased that lipstick it is so good and i've put so many people onto the ofra lipstick line so ofra hit me up hit me up ofra hit me up <laughs> This one is the BYS Matte Liquid Eyeliner. This one is terrible. Do not buy, do not use, do not repurchase. Uh, NYX Trejoli Black Eyeliner. This one was all right. Like, Kathleen White's kind of raised about this one. She says it's really, really good, but I found it a little bit waxy and dry and it tugged on my waterline. It's like, it's not the creamy sort of eyeliner that I'm looking for in my waterline. This one actually hurt me to apply, so I don't know if I got a bad one. I wouldn't repurchase this. I actually like to stick to my Rimmel Kajal black eyeliner. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is that it, you do have to sharpen this particular pencil, but it works so well in the waterline. It doesn't smudge, it doesn't run, and yeah, I would just stick to my Rimmel Exaggerate eyeliner. ColourPop concealer. I did enjoy using this. I just used it all up because I like to use up a product, otherwise it's a waste. I feel like the ColourPop concealer oxidized a fair bit on me, and I feel the same with their matte liquid lipsticks as well. When I apply the shade on my skin in a few moments is a shade that's a lot darker than what it is wet in the bottle so i'm not sure if i would repurchase this or if i did i would go a couple shades lighter than i really need because it always oxidizes down to a darker shade if that makes any sense but i'm actually pretty happy with my maybelline adri wand and my maybelline master concealer as well so i'm not sure i would repurchase this it's just these two work really really well for me all right we're getting through this <coughs> we're getting <coughs> <laughs> Getting through this. Another NYX Treasure Lee Eyeliner, just the other one was in black, this one was in brown. Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner. I would probably repurchase this if when I come to the end of my backups of the Master Graphic and I can't find this one anymore, I probably would go and start buying this Maybelline Master Precise. It is a really nice felt tip eyeliner, I just feel like it dried out really, really quickly. This one I've been using for months and months and months and months. It sounds gross, like... I've been using it for that long on my eyes, but it never dried up. It never, I probably could still even use this a little bit more. It's just actually starting to look a little bit manky, which is why I put it in my empties, but it actually still has a fair bit of ink in there. It's just, yeah, I don't know. I, I really wish that Maybelline would bring this one back. I would probably repurchase this if I had to. It's great while it lasts, but it dries out really, really quickly. L'Oreal Lumi Magic Concealer. This one's actually so old. I think I purchased this so long. Ew, gross. Why do I still have this? Would not repurchase as well. I remember this just sort of blending out into nothingness under my eyes. W7 Oso Waterproof Mascara. Would not repurchase. I don't know, it's just not great. Uh, this one is Renewed Hope in a Jar. It was a little sample that I got. Um, Philosophy, I don't even know what the brand is. It's just a little sample I got with a Mecca purchase. This one is the SkinCeuticals Reservatorial sample as well. If these didn't make much of an impression on me, I'm guessing I didn't like them because I've been saving up this garbage for months now. <laughs> this one is the Jericho Cosmetics Premium Restoring Day Cream. I have already repurchased it in the Kedma Cosmetics new packaging. Love, love. Why am I still holding this? Love, 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 love. Love this restoring day cream. It is empty. It's empty, gone, finito, gone. Definitely would repurchase and will keep repurchasing in the future. What else have we got? Revlon Naughty Nude Blush. This one's pretty old too. I don't know why I haven't thrown this out yet. And last but not least, this one is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist Setting Spray. 
definitely would repurchase. I have actually already repurchased this. It's in a box sitting right there that I have not even opened yet. It's got the Jaclyn Hill brush collection sitting in there too. And I don't know why I haven't opened it yet. I think I'm just waiting to film a haul video so I can actually open that box. I probably actually should have opened it just so I can see if the products have been damaged through delivery and it's probably too late now past after purchasing it to return it if there's something wrong with it but yeah revelation see so yeah, anyway morphe continuing setting this oh it just don't do that would definitely repurchase this smells amazing this sets the makeup so beautifully Definitely will keep repurchasing this. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed hearing me talk about my rubbish, what I would repurchase, what I would not repurchase, then please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. I put new videos out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my future uploads. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! <coughs> if you enjoyed watching me talk about my, my my rubbish, so I started the video. Did I start the video with Morphe? Oh no, that was a different video. Shit.